Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We've talked about this before. We've talked about the word distractions. We've talked about how often when we feel that we are trying to make um, five steps forward, we feel that, that these distractions can easily come in and make us take 10 steps back. I'm here to tell you that no matter what a distraction does to you, don't allow your environment and the people, the negative people around you to change the way you think because the path that you are on is the right one. And I'm telling you this from personal experience. Have faith, let it begin. Distractions starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say have faith? Again. Let it begin? Again. Say have faith. Again. Let it begin. No, no. no? No? Okay. It's a boy. Hi, Noah. Noah! Oh, Noah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Kidding. Oh, oh, amazing. Just those <laughs> 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 Noah. Have faith. Live again. When it starts right now. We blink and it's Wednesday. Already half of the week is over and it's... <laughs> it, I can't believe it. Um, we are exactly one week from tomorrow... One week and one day from Thanksgiving. It is Wednesday, November 16th, 2022. Four days away from my daughter's birthday, Ariel, who is going to be four years old. Amazing how the time truly flies. You know, I was thinking about a couple things as I spoke with a, a good friend of mine who's dealing with so much. You know who you are. Um, she's dealing with a lot. And I thought about the word distractions again. And I thought about everything that can happen in our life. Um, that will happen, that will dist- try to distract us from moving in the right direction. And that could be anything from thinking about the past, thinking about the present, thinking about woulda, shoulda, coulda, um, and why. That's the big question. Why? And we all deal with that. We all deal with that number one question. Why? We've heard of an episode here called Why Me? We've heard of this uh, of episodes called Distractions. We continue to try to figure out um, where to move forward. And as I said in the, vig- in the very beginning, sometimes when we feel we move five steps forward, something comes along and makes us move five, ten steps back. And why does that happen? Well, there's so much negativity out in this world. There's so much people out there that want to see you fail. Let's be real. Not everybody is happy when you're happy. Not everybody is sad when you're sad, it's very rare that you find somebody happy when you're happy. But here's the key thing. Trying to stay the course. Trying to understand what your environment and your surroundings is about. I've said this before. Try to become, you know, a thermostat. Don't be a thermometer. If you're a thermostat, you can control the atmosphere. One of the hardest things that we'll go through in life, uh, and it could be at any age, is betrayal. And dealing with that is such a hard topic because it could be all different types of betrayal. It could be gossip betrayal, total backstabbing betrayal, cheating. It could be anything. And what really hurts is when you put a lot of effort into something and you feel as if it was either a waste of time or where did it go wrong? And you'll spend all that energy trying to figure out why things happen the way they do. And maybe at times you'll try all you can to try to fix something. But maybe sometimes you can't fix what isn't fixable. But you know what you have to do? You have to learn to fix yourself. To trust and believe in yourself. Because you have what it takes to succeed. You have what it takes 
to survive. And you have what it takes to be all that you can be. You are a good parent. You could be a good son, a good daughter. You could even be a good ex-wife, ex-husband, but never change who you are. God created you in his image and you are meant to be who you are. Mind you, there are some of us that have done things to others and realizing later or weeks, maybe even hours later that you've done wrong. You can change. You can be the person that you were intended to be but only fell short by a distraction. So today, I am challenging all of you to try your very best to not allow anyone to steal your joy, to not allow all the distractions around you to dictate where you are going to end up because you are a special person, because you are an individual that was meant to do the things that you were inspired to be. You could be anything you want. You could be the best of the best. You can fight the good fight and you can start believing. And that's where I'm going to leave you today. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you. May the Lord bring you strength, drive, and determination. May he give you the will and the opportunity and the chance to survive. Don't allow all the hate, the negativity. Don't allow the suffering and the sadness to overcrowd your better judgment. Because you, my friend, are a child of God. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth and never forget. Have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know, and yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday, and it's going to be live at 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts, because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress... (laughs) She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.